If you were ever into bodybuilding or looked up workout videos before, then you probably have heard the name Z's. Or maybe you randomly heard a meathead scream the phrase, I'm Z's, bruh. Or perhaps you saw this meme online. Personally, I greatly admired Z's and looked up to him. I remember watching videos of him for hours and even mimicking his poses at the gym. Honestly, he influenced me to undergo my own body transformation. Z's was a bodybuilder and stripper who changed the lives of millions. He showed that anyone could transform themselves from a skinny kid into a muscular behemoth. Z's amassed a cult-like following due to his dedication to bodybuilding and his entertaining actions. Sadly, however, he tragically passed away at a sauna in Thailand in 2011. This is the incredible story of Z's. He was the son of Zeus, brother of Hercules, and the father of aesthetics. Z's real name was Aziz Shavershin, and he was born in Russia but moved to Australia when he was four. He was an ethnic Kurd, which is a group of people who originate from Iran, which explained his Middle Eastern appearance. Growing up, Z's was a self-proclaimed geek. However, Z's decided to change his body after graduating high school because he was tired of being made fun of for being skinny and wanted more attention from women. In an interview, he stated that, I was ridiculously thin. I'm talking the skinniest guy in my grade school. People always commented on how skinny I was and I hated it. I was always known as the skinny kid. I remember feeling like a little bitch when I was out with girls walking next to them and feeling the same size as them. After my HSC, it was holidays, and I started going clubbing every weekend and always noticed whenever a jack dude walked by, they had a presence a lot greater than that of a normal person. So then Z sold his World of Warcraft account in order to buy a gym membership and started pumping iron. Over several years, he transformed himself from a skinny kid into a statue made of pure muscle. Every inch of his body was sculpted to the max and he looked like a Spartan. And naturally, he was proud of his progress and wanted to share it with others. Z's then decided to frequent multiple different bodybuilding forums. He repeatedly posted inspirational pictures and constantly motivated others with comments like this. Awesome job, bro. You don't give yourself enough credit. Keep doing what you're doing, working hard and eating, and you'll grow easily. Don't worry about specific parts. They'll all grow. Now, this was really nice to read. Many other bodybuilders who reached Z's physical status weren't usually this kind. I myself remember being too afraid to post on these forums because I didn't want to be insulted. Z's, however, was different. He constantly motivated others. And in another post, he defended a 14-year-old from hate comments by saying, He's 14, cut him some slack. Awesome work. If you keep it up, by the time you will be 18, you will be a effing unit. He was like the big brother that many people needed. He was someone that all skinny kids could look up to. He was a thin teen who made it and wanted others to do the same. His posts really cemented him as a positive figure in the fitness community. In addition to being helpful, he was also a huge troll which people found entertaining and hilarious. He would often make funny posts like these. When randoms ask me about training or how much I bench, I always say I don't work out just to throw them off, lol. Furthermore, he posted YouTube videos of him going on Omegle shirtless and watching people's reactions. A lot of the videos featured girls who just stared at his body and some even made sexual gestures at him. Furthermore, Aziz would often troll girls online who messaged him. In one post, the woman said, You're one beautiful guy. Pity I don't know you, lol hi. In which he replied, You have one beautiful eye. Pity about the rest, lol hi. In another post, someone said, Looking good. I would appreciate and accept so we can chat. And he replied by saying, Hey darling, awesome to have you as a friend. I appreciate your offer, but no thanks, you're a 7 out of 10 at best. And because I'm a lot more beautiful than you physically, I do not think there is any reason as to why I must undertake a chat with you, as I would only do so with people who are on par genetics-wise, so as to pass strong and attractive genes to my future children. Unfortunately, I'm afraid you would bring our children down two points, and judging by your risque DP and ability to message random guys out of the blue, you are more than likely a whore. Thanks for the ad though, hope we can still be friends. People loved the fact that he was so aesthetic and also a troll. He was really admired on 4chan's Fitboard because his story was relatable to a lot of the users on the site. He was a WoW-playing nerd that became a complete Chad. Z's also made a lot of videos of him partying and raving, showing off his ripped physique. He often went shirtless and wore shorts that exposed his quadriceps. But beyond his looks, he also had a really strong I don't give a crap what anyone thinks attitude. Z's was also a famous womanizer. He posted pictures with hundreds of different women, like this one with three different girls licking his abs. He demonstrated a complete evolution to his final form. His body told a story, getting ripped will get you laid and anyone can do it. When asked about how much attention he got before working out, he said, None. I never hooked up with a girl till after I finished school. Yes, strong loser. Never cared about the way I looked, did my hair, etc. But that's because I had no self-confidence. As soon as I started going to the gym, my confidence skyrocketed, and I have no trouble approaching or talking to any girl, and most of the time they come up to me, serious. I also developed late. Growth spurt was at 17, not 14, and my jaw, etc. started shaping very late. Now, in all honesty, I wouldn't be able to count how many girls I've hooked up with, lol. Maybe a few hundred or so in the last three years, lol. Fans loved his success with women, and as time went on, his popularity grew more and more. Z's continued making videos on his YouTube channel and even offered advice from time to time. In one particular video, he was exceptionally inspirational. Tomorrow, bro. 
more reason to buy now, bruh. It's this, bruh. Everyone has a little bit of this in them. Every cunt out there, you're a sick cunt if you want to be, bruh. The gym was no longer for meatheads, it was for anyone that wanted to change their physique, and it was all thanks to Z's. He was a cultural leader and always encouraged others to better themselves. He even had famous catchphrases like, You Myron, brah? And we're all gonna make it. You Myron was just another way of saying, Are you admiring my body? Which made a lot of people laugh because the humor was so cheeky. And saying we're all gonna make it was really heartwarming because it made people feel like they were in a community and that they were gonna succeed. Many people agreed with him and thought that Z's wasn't just a person, it was a way of life. Z's also undoubtedly changed what it meant to be a bodybuilder. Before him, when people thought of bodybuilders, they often thought of a human tank of muscle like Kai Green or Ronnie Coleman. I mean, most of those guys looked like they couldn't even walk up a set of stairs. Z's, however, pioneered a counterculture called the Aesthetics Movement. The focus of the movement was achieving a Greek godlike physique rather than looking like a human bull. In fact, Z's influence was so powerful that the International Federation for Bodybuilding created a new section called Men's Physique. To put it simply, Z's revolutionized bodybuilding. He even popularized the Z's pose, it was damn aesthetic and many many people have copied it ever since. Despite Z's positive effects, he was also subject to controversy. Although he didn't drink alcohol, he openly admitted to doing cocaine and ecstasy. On an old bodybuilding.com forum post, he said, Or do what I do, bodybuild as well as doing recreational drugs. Your young ones and drugs are awesome, a pillar line every few months won't hinder gains. This gave some of his fans a major distaste in their mouths. However, it wasn't really these drugs that bothered most people as much as the steroids that he used. Although he never publicly admitted it, Z's definitely used steroids. In order to find proof of this, I actually went on his old bodybuilding.com account. I went through hundreds of posts and found one where he talked about cycling through Tren. I started my first Tren sus cycle 8 weeks ago, that was in April. Tren is short for Trenbolone and sus is short for Sustanon and they're both used together to gain more muscle mass. And if you don't believe me, there's also a video of Z showing off his Clenbuterol which is another anabolic steroid. Furthermore, his older brother Chespra was arrested in 2011 for possessing and selling anabolic steroids. Chespra later revealed that Z's was the one that introduced him to steroids and not the other way around. In a recording online, he talked about how he first caught Z's using. Surprisingly, it was Az. He was the one that introduced it to me, funny enough. Even though everyone thinks it's the opposite way around because I'm the older brother, he was the one who introduced me to it. Funny story, he was actually hiding it from me one day and every every week he'll jump on the scale and he'll be like Hey bro, look, I'm a kilo heavier this week. Next week he'll be two kilos heavier. The week after he'll be three kilos heavier. And he'd look at me and Babbo and he'll just laugh at us. And he'd be like, how come you guys aren't pro every week? And I was thinking, what the f going on? Like, this guy's putting a kilo on every week and getting leaner and fuller. And he's eating like a horse. Like, something doesn't add up. And then I walk into his room and I see a... I see one of his mates jabbing him in the ass with a needle and I looked at him I'm like, I oh, thought you cunt, I knew you were steroids, you lying sack of shit. And he just looks at me with a goofy smile and laughs and he's like, oh, took you long enough to guess. Some were disappointed that Z's essentially cheated his way to his physique. It was a painful betrayal, but others simply didn't care. To them, Z's was a way of life and the fact that he used steroids didn't make his teachings any less true. However, despite controversy, Z's was still skyrocketing in popularity. He published a bodybuilding bible and had his own protein line called Protein of the Gods. Because of his fame, he was invited to join the reality show Natural Road Trip and was a pretty funny addition. However, everything suddenly came to a halt when he unexpectedly passed away at a sauna in Thailand in 2011. A lot of his friends couldn't believe it and thought he was joking, especially because he posted this to his Facebook before he went. But unfortunately, it was real. His death even made the national news, which was impressive because he was an internet celebrity that was recognized by the mainstream media. Later, his autopsy revealed that his actual cause of death was due to a congenital heart defect. Now, a lot of people think that Z's died as a direct result from a steroid and drug use. However, I looked into it and I don't think that's completely accurate. A congenital heart defect means that Z's was born with an issue with his heart that could have killed him at any time. I don't think his lifestyle killed him per se, but I do think it shortened the already short life he would have had. After his death, Z's became a legend. He was a rags to riches story of someone who forged their body in the Iron Temple. There was a torrential outpour of sadness at his loss online. His last 4chan post is still shared around the internet, a staple of proof that he was once part of the community. And so is this funny reply to an email that someone sent him telling him they made a subreddit. He died living a good life and his mentality lives on in the hearts of others. His brother Chespra carries on his legacy. He has a YouTube channel with about 80,000 subscribers where he uploads bodybuilding tips and also talks about fond memories he had with Z's. Overall, he was an incredibly influential figure in the bodybuilding community. 
He was inspirational and motivated us all to do better and will forever be missed. Also, if anyone was wondering if his name is pronounced Ziz or Ziz, he actually answered that question himself. In a post he stated that, My name is Aziz. Ziz equals however you pronounce Aziz minus the A. So in before anyone says that I'm butchering his name, I just have one question for you. You Myron bruh? Thanks for watching this video and if you liked it, please consider subscribing to my channel. Take care.